our newest little creature to the rehab center is Petunia, the little buffalo. Both of them being nocturnal animals, we decided to put them in the same enclosure together. We are very privileged to have a black eagle in our care at the moment. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Shamwari TV. As per usual at the rehab centre, it has been extremely busy. Good morning, hello. So our newest little creature to the rehab centre is Petunia, the little buffalo. Her mom unfortunately stopped producing milk and kicked her away. So she came here to the rehab centre. Last week, she's only a week old and as you can see, she's a very healthy little girl, got a nice suck on her and is very hungry so we're going to be feeding her shortly. And with her we have Sally the Warthog. Both these animals are very social so for us we had no friend for Sally and when Petunia arrived we didn't have anything that was big enough to be her friend. So we decided to put them together and see what happened. A very strange relationship has formed and now Sally goes wherever Petunia goes and you'll see after they get fed, Paul Petunia thinks that she's going to get some milk from from Sally, so she chases Sally around. But let me go grab your milkies and we can feed you. Hey, my girl. Yeah. Hello, Sally. Hey, there we go. Hey, we need to change hands here. It's okay, lovey. There's your foodies. Hey. Sally's pretty scared and nervous and she doesn't really eat while I'm here and we generally find that she eats once we've left. But as you can see, Petunia has got a very good appetite. So the thing with buffalo is that she only get weaned at nine months. So it's still gonna be a very long milk process for us. But I'm sure by the time she's nine months old, she'll be a big, strong girl. And yeah, we can release her back with the herd. Finished. Hey, all finished. Yeah, it's all finished. Hey, all finished. Good girl. Yeah, I know. Uh -uh, not on camera. Hey, not on camera. <laughs> this is actually the worst part of my job. I can never give an animal what a mother would normally give from a comfort point of view. And as you can see, how she's coming to me for that sort of love and comfort. Hey, so I'm gonna leave you two. Hey, and I'll see you guys a bit later. Bye, Gilly. No, 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 stay there. Unfortunately, we received a baby hippo that was all by himself in one of the little ponds here on Shamwari. It's been a very long time since we received rain and this drought is just persisting, which is why we are now starting to get a lot of these babies as well as a lot of injuries that are coming through from infighting with the hippo. We managed to catch him by hand with a couple of guys and brought him to the animal hospital where we washed him off and were able to put him on a drip for a couple of hours and managed to get some food into him via a bottle. These procedures were a bit stressful for him so we decided to see if he wouldn't drink via a bowl which he has fortunately successfully done. We have decided to name him Henry. A week after Henry, our baby hippo, arrived at the rehab centre, we just noticed that he wasn't happy in the enclosure that we had him. He wasn't di in direct contact with the other hippos, but he did have them right next to his enclosure. With hippo being social animals, we needed to find a friend for him. So the thought process was to take him back to the animal hospital and place our buffalo Petunia and the little warthog Sally in an enclosure with him. Morning girls. Come, it's breakfast time. Come on. Good morning. Good morning. Yeah, it's milky time. Hi, come Sally. Petunia and Sally are enjoying their new friend. It was a bit of a, a touch and go situation in the beginning, but another strange uh, relationship has formed and we now have a hippo, a buffalo and a warthog together. And Henry, you don't really see him much during the day. Again, with hippos being nocturnal, that's, that's the reason why. But in the mornings, his milk is finished and you can see that he's been moving around the camp. So a much better situation for all three of them.
So the struggles of our enclosure is trying to mix milk with a buffalo. Maguli. Hey. So I even pre-package everything so that I'm able to try and mix the milk because it's it's a bit of a mission. Hey. Yeah. I love you too. Hey. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> is enough. Oh my word. That is enough. And the bucket broke. <laughs> Every morning his milk is has been finished. Fortunately Petunia hasn't figured out how to how to drink it yet. Magili, please stop. I don't want to hurt you. Henry, here's some milk for you, my boy. Hey. <laughs> Come, Petunia. Hey. Uh. We had two very interesting new arrivals at the rehab centre, one of them being a bush pig and the other one being a porcupine. Both of them being nocturnal animals, we decided to put them in the same enclosure together and they are doing very well. In the beginning, it was sort of a tricky situation. They have developed the most unique relationship and we often find them lying in the bushes close next to each other. So yeah, we're very happy with their progress. They come out and they eat together. It is a bit of a, a struggle as they do tend to have a, a bit of arguments over food time and the porcupine does take over a bit. They're both growing and looking healthy. We are very happy with their progress. So just an update on Gilbert, he is still doing very well, drinking his milk like an absolute dream and I actually can't believe how big he's grown in the last couple of months. Unfortunately, it's still a bit of a long, a long road for us with Gilbert on milk as he can only be weaned at 12 to 13 months, so another six months to go, but we're extremely happy with his progress and it's so nice to see him just enjoying his enclosure and growing into the sub-adult that he is. We are very privileged to have a black eagle or a Baroque eagle in our care at the moment. I'm not quite sure if it's a he or a she. It came from a lady who rescues birds of prey in Queenstown and she was handed him in by a farmer. Unfortunately, part of their diets are small mammals, so black eagles are known for going and eating lambs. So the farmers don't really like them all that much. But luckily, if farmers are nice, they take them to, to these places and we can then rehabilitate them and release them. So this chap is still a juvenile. When he gets older, his, his feathers will go completely black and he looks magnificent when he's completely black as much as he looks gorgeous now. But yeah, he's still, still a baby, so we have to feed him and teach him how to hunt, which is going to be quite difficult and interesting as they are one of the more difficult birds of prey to teach how to hunt. He's 
still very wild as much as we can get close or I can get close you'll see now when I go to feed him but he doesn't want any human interaction at all which is exactly how we want them so another exciting and interesting animal in our care come on boy it's all right it's okay Into the boy it's all right here we go hey here we go So in the wild, these black eagles normally eat small mammals, anything ranging from your little dikers to mongoose, to dussies, to the lambs, small goats. We kind of try and mimic that similar diet. We're not giving them large amounts of meat at the moment, but we give them enough to, to sustain them for the day. Obviously in the wild, they'd also be using up a lot of energy flying around. We'll, we'll start to introduce pieces of, of meat that still have um, feathers or pieces of skin on that he actually has to figure out how to eat them. Hello everyone, I'm vet nurse Megan from Shamwari Private Game Reserve. Thank you for watching another episode of Shamwari TV with us. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit the like button and follow us for some more amazing episodes.